Might do a bit more video and got further down the down the coom now. They've done bits of pathway repair here and there, widening it and strengthening it with wooden sides. Uh, thing is, they use their quad bikes during the hunt to come down here. But I think sometimes a bit of repair work don't do damage to the landscape. Exactly, do you know what I mean? Here's the stream, here's the bubbling brook. Going into a shadier area now. It's the eye of a tree looking at me. It's a good time to come out midweek. Of course a lot of people won't come to the Quandox because of the ticks. Because of ticks. It's known for it. And it's true, you can get it. Like I said, I had limes. I caught, I had a limes tick bite me. And uh, I was ill. But they did catch it in time. I had to really, really push them though to identify it. It was really difficult to get them to do anything. Deoxycycline, I think it was. Or doxyoxycycline, or something like that I had. See, this is where they've done more stones and that and widened it a bit. It's to stop erosion as well, don't forget. It's not just to annoy people, you know. It's, um, it's, it's a safety thing. It's just to save the... Keep it safe. But you can slide about on it. That old tree there. Lots of old trees now. We're coming. This is really the most picturesque area, I think, it's down here. Hobbit land, for sure. It looks like moss, doesn't it? The, the greenery and those old trees there. Look at that old oak. You've seen me for years, haven't you? Coming here. I haven't heard the cuckoo. The cuckoo might have been and gone. One year I got it cuckoo on for ages. I have videoed this so many times, everyone. I think I've put a whole section on my, I've put a web link on for my tree from YouTube onto my ancestry tree so that my descendants in the future can hear my hear me and, and see where I used to walk and hopefully they will come here as well. Joni was out here a week ago, not exactly this bit, but it's gorgeous, isn't it? I've got to turn off folks, take some pictures. There's a stream running there. I don't know I don't reckon the the fords further up would be that big. I mean I've had to I've really struggled to cross them at some times. And they're quite deep and fast. If there's been a storm or anything. Carrying on down this beautiful coom, everyone. Shepherd's Coom. I think this is called this bit. And there's the stream. I've been taking lots and lots of photos, more than video this time. I'm just doing small snippets and then more video as we follow the stream down towards where they meet at the fords. And the trees drinking as much as they can. Well, thunderstorms are due. Thunderstorms are due at the weekend, apparently. That doesn't always mean they will. It's lovely, isn't it? I love the sound of water, don't you? It's lovely, isn't it? I haven't met anyone down here. I've seen one girl further up, not here, and one bloke on a bike, and a woman. Oh, there was a woman with a dog, and a bloke, an old bloke with a stick, when I was coming up 
bitten on a coom. And the girl was bitten on a coom. And the bloke on the bike was going down, bitten on a coom. But actually coming down here, no, I haven't met nobody. I haven't met a snake either. I just love all these trees, the different trees. And they all live so happily together. String glistening there. Foxgloves are coming out. There'll be a lot more of them soon. Every now and again you'll get a glimpse of one. I can see them with the naked eye. <coughs> it's just gorgeous this place, isn't it? I have to, I, want, I said to myself, oh, you don't bother going there this year. I thought, no, I've got to go there. I have got to go there. So beautiful. The time will come when I won't be able to come here, will it? It's going to happen, isn't it? The trees will still be here. And new people will be here walking. Every now and again you think you see a shape. Like somebody standing. And you think you can hear... Oh, I think I can see somebody now. Further up. Yeah, there are some people. I'll turn off in a minute. It could be that, like when I was a child, the schools bring the children out here. Now, before I saw those people, I thought I saw somebody standing. Tall figure. Back on again, I folks. This is, this is a lush place as well. If you just look at all the tall trees and the lime green, the freshness of it all. And this is the sort of place where I used to, used to get the ant hills. I haven't seen a big ant hill like I did as a child for a while. They're probably still there. I just haven't come across them because I don't run down through this sort of area anymore. When we were kids, we used to run down and... We, me and another boy fell in the ant hill. I mean, it was painful, you know. We had to be washed in the stream and everything. It was really, really, really painful to be bitten by so many ants. You know what I mean? And they weren't little ants. I've never forgotten that, you know. <laughs> never forgotten that. And there was just a big crowd of about 30 boys with a teacher um, doing some sort of... They've all got white and red poles, so they must be doing some sort of measuring or something. They were very well behaved boys. Um, I didn't hear anyone swearing or anything. Um, they've gone ahead of me. They've just had a break by the look of it. But I'm making the most of this area. And I've decided I'm not going to look at the, the watch until I get over the fords. Because the, the last little section leading up to Alfred Green, it's, it's not boring, but it is quite a, it is quite a way. And uh, it's, it's worse when you've been out for a big hike and you do that bit on the way back. Uh, and when you first start the walk, you want to get that bit out of the way. It's one of those sort of situations. <laughs> God, I bet they're all going to end up on the green having a picnic. This is what can happen, you know. There could be loads of groups of people out now. And uh, all doing measurements and studying nature. And they could all end up on my green. Here's another group down here. It's not just one group, you see. They're all doing measurements. I'm going to turn the video. Forward. I expect the battery are going in a minute. I managed to cross the stream without getting my feet wet. Anyway, that was stream number one. Um, yeah, they're, they're measuring things. Yeah, it's not the final month of school, isn't it, really? Of course, there's, this goes, if you follow this coombe up round, it takes you up Slaughterhouse Coombe. 
Um, God, I used to know all the names of the combs. I just can't remember at the moment. That one takes you up somewhere as well, which isn't very nice. Let's put well. the battery charger on for this section. Um, just past uh, the school children again, doing their measurements, speed flows of water, and all that sort of thing. Um, water measurements, examining the river, probably doing a whole range of things that you do. I wish I could remember doing when we did uh, stuff at uh, college. Um, part of our studies was we would go out doing field work on looking at the fauna and flora of rivers and pollution studies. Yeah, we did a lot back then. Hell of a lot, really. Of course, there is a path up that way. It's very steep. You go up there and it takes you up to the plantation. If, say, you want to just miss out the Holford picnic area, you could go up there and then get up onto the Lady's Edge really fast. Now, I've just seen a load of fungi I'm going to go up to and take a picture of. God, I can't remember what it's called. Poor, poor something or other. Um, yeah, it's got a name that. It's not bread fungi, I don't think. Let's just zoom in a minute. There'll be a lot of that up here, eating decayed stuff. Can be seen by the water there as well. Let's take a walk the stream, look. We used to quite often walk with our wellies up that way. I've got a picture of Daisy and Amber walking through that with their wellies on. Um, I might even have video footage of that. Um, might do, it's quite likely, somewhere. So this is the route back now to Holford Green. It is, it is a little bit nippy because this is a northeast wind. Uh, it could be that. I won't feel it as much on the return trip. And I'm not going to go right up on the top. I'm going to keep on the lady's edge on the way back. But I am going to go through Wordsworth House first. But I'm not, I am not looking at the time until we get to Holford when I have my cheese and tomato. So we've walked through a very, very peaceful, warm little coon back there. I know the kids were there, but the sound of voices, I know they were boys, teenage boys, but busy people doing a little bit of study in the, out in the countryside. I mean, that's what it's about, learning. What a place for them to come. I didn't stop and nose and ask any too much, you know. Hi trees, I'm on the way back now. If it's windy up the picnic area, I will put my top on while I'm having my picnic, I think. It could be quite likely there's no where for me to sit. So, there might be somewhere for me to stop for a minute somewhere. But if that group of kids decide to pack up now, they'll pass me easily, you know what I mean? They'll pass me easily. Over and out now for a little while, until we get to the green.